Hello and welcome to Forbest Academy. Today we're going to be looking at our preparation for the AMC 1012 Mathematics Contest in 2021. The AMC 1012 is a mathematics contest which is designed to promote uh, problem solving skills in mathematics. Both tests are 75 minutes long and contain 25 multiple choice questions. Now the AMC 10 is targeted for people of grade 10 and below. It will assume your basic knowledge that you should have learned in grade nine and 10, knowledge of algebra, geometry knowledge, uh, such as Pythagoras, areas and volumes. You will not be expected to know trigonometry, advanced algebra and advanced geometry. In the AMC 12, which is targeted for anyone in grade 12 or below, uh, that will cover the entire high school mathematics curriculum, including trigonometry and advanced algebra, but you will not be tested on calculus. Now, the tests this year are, there are two tests, competition A and competition B. Both tests are the same, they're just on different dates. So the A competition is on November the 10th, and competition B will be on November the 16th. Uh, registration is ongoing for those now. The dates are on the screen. What we will be doing at Forbest is we will be trying to get you ready for these two competitions. So what we'll be doing is every weekday until the end of competition B, we will be releasing a video going through a past paper question from either AMC 10 or AMC 12 where I will break down the concepts needed for that question and how we can apply those in a problem solving way. So we're going to start that today with our first ever problem breakdown. And we are going to look at a nice, easy question to start off with. And that is going to be 10 multiplied by one half plus one fifth plus one tenth, all to the power of negative one. So let's look at the concepts involved in this question. So our first concept is a simple addition of fractions. We should know that to add fractions, we need to have a common denominator. Looking at one half, one fifth and one tenth, we should be able to see that we have a common multiple there of 10. So we can change our denominators for all three fractions into 10. So the equivalent fraction for one half will be five over 10. The equivalent fraction for one fifth will be two over 10. And of course, one over 10 can remain as it is at one over 10. Adding those together, our denominator will stay the same. We add together the numerators to get eight over 10. Now our second concept, and the one that is probably the more complicated concept, is our negative power. Our reciprocal power here with the power of negative one. Now, the way to think about a reciprocal is the reciprocal of any number multiplied with that original number will always give us an answer of one. For instance, five multiplied by the reciprocal of five, five to the negative one, must give us an answer of one. Therefore, five to the negative one must be equal to one over five. If we apply the same concept to our fractions, if we had a fraction of two thirds multiplied by the reciprocal of two thirds, that would also need to equal one. If we think what we can multiply two thirds by to get an answer of one, we could simply multiply it by three over two. So we can see here in our two examples, when dealing with a whole number, the reciprocal gave us one over five, and when dealing with a fraction, we simply inverted our fraction. Our numerator became our denominator and our denominator became our numerator. If we look at a slightly more advanced level of this, what happens when we have a power of negative two? 
Now, power of negative two, we will apply the same concept. It will still be the reciprocal. The only change will we will now is we will now square our answer in the same way as if I applied a negative two power to one of my fractions. We would still look for that reciprocal of three over two. But this time we would square our answer. So that is the concept of negative powers. So in this question, we've been told that we want eight over 10 to the power of negative one. And as we've just looked at, if we invert that fraction to find the reciprocal, we will get 10 over eight. To finish this question, we need to multiply by 10. So 10 multiplied by 10 over eight will give us 100 over eight. We need to simplify that answer down and we should be able to spot that both 108 can be divided by four, which will give us 25 over two, which is our answer C. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, keep an eye out for daily videos looking at AMC 10, 12 questions. And if there are any questions that you would like me to go through on this channel, please comment below with the question number and the year of the paper, and I will create a video later on. Thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for tomorrow's video.